Behold, the hope of him is in vain, shall not be cast down, even at the sight of him. What up, Coffin Crew, and welcome to another character breakdown. And in this episode, we go back to the Hellraiser franchise and discuss the Leviathan. Leviathan's true origins are unknown. Over a millennia, he's ruled over the Cenobites in Hell. Some say he is the fallen angel that the Bible speaks of. Leviathan has an obsession with law and order and sees the human realm as chaotic and wrong. The Cenobites are its foot soldiers in the war against chaos and flesh, meaning humans. The Labyrinth, the Cenobites, and the Leviathan preside over represents the maze of the mind. According to legend, Leviathan existed before there was life. But when life was created, nature and chaos exploded across the world, spilling into its perfect order of darkness. Eons ago, when the world was teeming with life, it continued to swell until it ruptured through the walls it did not know existed, bursting into hell, giving birth to light into a very dark place. So the Leviathan retaliated, grinding and crushing life, even as, even as it tried to spread in hell. But in time, life was again at Leviathan's door and threatened to overwhelm his realm as green began to cover gray. One world looking more and more like the other. Leviathan recalculated his position and devised a new strategy of chaotic proportions, searching across the world that it despised more than ever. Leviathan found what he was looking for, mankind. He descended into man's dreams, whispering to him the keys of logic and the secret language of science that could only describe the vision that burned in his mind of tolls, of machines, of weapons, of all things glorious and magnificent. Leviathan showed man how to use these against his world, that he may bring all life around him to its knees, bend to its will and destroy all that stood in his way. No sooner he risen from the mud, he reached out for the first weapon, laying waste everything around him, slaughtering his enemies, stealing their skins as no creature ever had to drape over his own. The world began to bleed, growing only more silent and more still, dying. During this time, hell was once more returned to its perfect order, but Leviathan that was no longer enough it again visited the dreams of man, choosing well its apostles to set down its gospel. These great apostles laid the foundation for Leviathan's dark design. Eventually, with every foot of concrete steam rolled over the face of its enemy, with every towering sky bottling monolith erected, one world looked more and more like the other. Leviathan has the ability to create any Cenobite the Leviathan feeds on the souls of unworthy to become Cenobites. Trap anyone in an infant memory loop. When an individual seems to serve a serious threat to the Leviathan is when he tends to more use this memory loop. His weakness. The Leviathan gets weakened and he suffers a temporary power loss when the lament configuration is solved by a human being while in hell. When this happens, he reverts into a cube shape and all its captured souls flee out of it at a rapid rate. The black light spitting, soul eating, order happy sadomadistic face, unholier than thou realistic diamond.